This is a Chevrolet GMC L96. It is a 6 liter Gen 4 truck motor. Uh, 4 inch bore, 3.622 stroke. Uh, it is a rectangular port. Um, it's from a 2010 GMC Sierra 1500 or 2500. Uh, I bought it for $500. It is listed as a core motor because the vehicle was high mileage. Um, <clears throat> but it did start and run when it got to the junkyard. So I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to see what's wrong with it, if anything. I'm going to gap the rings to 30 thousandths. I'm going to put a ball hone in it and give it a real light hone and put it back together with a truck intake manifold and it's going in the Impreza. Here's a view of the L96 truck motor uh, that I'm using in the Impreza. Put some light in it so you can see. So I did wash it uh, so it has a little bit of surface rust from that but the bores are all smooth and shiny. Uh, I can still see a little bit of the original crosshatch so even with 100,000 plus miles, this block is totally usable, good condition. Um, so that part of the budget is good and cheap. This is a $500, essentially 500 horsepower motor with a cam. So I'll show you the next piece. This is the piston and connecting rod from the L96. Uh, it's a Gen 4, so it has a full floating wrist pin. Uh, it's an H-beam style rod, although not forged, it's powdered metal, so it's some kind of forging or casting. Um, so you can see the bearings uh, look basically brand new. Uh, so I'm going to lightly scuff them with some uh, gray Scotch-Brite, the finest grit they have. Uh, or maybe I'll just put some 1500 or 3000 sandpaper in there. The main bearings on the crank are also good, so I'm going to reuse those. Uh, the mains need a very light polishing, uh, something in the 3000 grit range, or maybe just an emery cloth. Uh, but they're so smooth to the touch that uh, you can't feel any imperfections at all. It's just a slight visual imperfection. Here's one of the cylinder heads. Uh, I have not chemically cleaned this. Uh, I cleaned it with a brush and soap and water and that's how clean it came out. So almost perfect. Here are the main caps. Again, uh, soap and water and a brush. No chemicals uh, because it was unnecessary. Here are all the valves. Even the valves are in near perfect condition. You can see the edge of the valves, the seat area, is still shiny and nice on all of them. So the only thing I really have to do is just clean the carbon buildup off and lap them. And we're going to hand lap them. Uh, we're not even going to deck the head or send it to the machine shop. I'm just going to hit the top of it with a stone. and. Then I'll put it all back together.